When I became mayor of Bruton in November 2012, I knew I wanted to make a difference in my hometown. Population had been declining for decades. Industrial growth was lackluster and unemployment growing. Not the picture you want to see. Our town appeared to be left behind, uncared about and neglected. I knew we could do better. From when we came in the office, Bruton, which is a small rural town in South Alabama, had taken on a mindset of settling for second best. And we wanted to change that mindset. And so what the first thing we did with that, we took 50 gallon barrels, uh, trash barrels, painted those and put them around town. Before we could sell Bruton to prospective industries, we had to make our residents part of the sales team. That started with rebuilding our community pride and civic spirit. Well, it certainly caught people's attention. And when you catch people's attention, they start asking questions. And obviously when I ran for office, you don't get 100% of the vote. So you're gonna have some naysayers and some supporters when you start something new. And each time we took a step forward and added something to our vision, more people came on board. Uh, part of adding to our vision was when we bought American Bloom on board. I knew the first challenge would be to find the revenue to start investing in our town. Second, we had to change the minds of the people who were convinced we could not do better. We passed a sales tax increase and use that revenue to get back on a sound financial footing, then began leveraging that money to get grants. We paved roads, built sidewalks, and improved infrastructure with millions of dollars in grant funds secured with the sales tax revenue. We added property to our parks, planted trees, redesigned floral displays, and added murals. And that was just the beginning. Well, what starts to happen, people start to have pride. And as pride builds, it spills over to the next item you're working on. So all of a sudden, other people start planting more flowers. People start edging their yards. That, and so we started uh, putting the, the yard of the month signs up and the business of the month signs up. Um, that led the city council to start investing more in infrastructure and we started paving uh, more and more streets. One thing leads to another and it started looking better and better. Which that leads then to your activities and other quality of life events that you start to put on. Each year, America in Bloom sends us two judges with expertise in community development and floral design. They evaluate our city on seven criteria, flowers, landscaped areas, urban forestry, environmental efforts, celebrating heritage, community vitality, and overall impression. So far, we have won numerous national awards and we're closing in on a population category. The real value is the annual evaluation. The assessment would cost in excess of $30,000 if we hired the judges independently. As part of the competition, we get their input for less than $1,500. We started treating our employees that work in the parks department and those departments, the, the professionals that they are. We started sending them to more seminars, more schools. We would bring uh, landscape companies here. So now it's, it was really amazing to me this year because this was the first year I went to American Bloom convention. We took 12 employees and it was almost like a college football game spirit that our people have now, that they're proud of their work and they compete and work hard to make it beautiful. Sort of reminds me of a, the old thing about a snowball rolling downhill and it starts picking up steam and as people hear about Bruton, they want to come see Bruton. And site selectors that are working for an industry 
They're not trying to add you to the list. They're trying to come up with a way to check you off the list. They come to Brute and they see something now. They see a town that's got numerous cultural events that we're putting on. They see the, the flowers. They see people out on the new sidewalks walking. They see uh, the mud run that we now have. They, they see the, um, uh, the um, arena that we put up for rodeos, uh, the outdoor sports that we now have. The, we, e. O. Wilson um, lived in Bruton at one time. We now have a 300 acre E. O. Wilson nature adventure park, which happens to be within the city limits of Bruton with a, a pitcher plant bog in it. It's got a uh, pond that we put there that we hold fishing rodeos. So the quality of life has really grown for the people. And people that come to Bruton see that. I see people in town now smiling, enjoying parks and public art. Volunteers want to be part of the change. It has paid off in growth as well. Our estimated population for this year is rising. We have seen dozens of new businesses arrive in town. We landed a green energy manufacturing company with 40 jobs and an information technology startup with 300 jobs selected us as their new headquarters. The new generation, the millennials, that they can live anywhere they want to live. You know, they're almost like site selectors and you're trying to attract them to your city to want to live in this town, to have their, raise their families here in this, in this city. And so with the amenities they have right at their doorstep, they don't have to belong to certain clubs to, to go somewhere. We have a world-class YMCA here. Um, uh, if our schools, uh, T.R. Miller High School, uh, or the whole school system is ranked in the top 15 schools in Alabama. Uh, so this is a city that has invested now in itself, and we see the people that live here having more pride and the businesses investing, repainting the buildings, repainting houses, uh, planting more plants, and it just continues to grow and feed on itself. You know, the world never stops turning. You don't ever stop growing. You don't ever stop looking for the next thing. We, we just finished Christmas. Christmas in Bruton was spectacular. We heard it all over. Came to Bruton, the lights were beautiful. We saw this, we saw that. We had a meeting five days after Christmas on the next year. What are we going to do different for next year? It's the same thing with economic development. Our meetings there, you know, how are we going to attract the next industry? Workforce development, how are you going to get the training that our people need for the future. So where I see it going, you know, we'll see what tomorrow brings. We still hear a few people complaining about wasting money on flowers, but we hear more enjoying the progress. Site selectors tell us over and over that their travels through the region show clearly that Bruton's appearance and community pride put us on the map as a top choice. If somebody asked me today what we were thinking about six years ago when we started to plant those flowers and paint those barrels, they see the vision. The vision has now manifested itself. They want to be on a committee to help us move to the next level. And that's what it's about. How do you move to the next level, maintain what you have, but keep moving forward? And that's sort of one of our um, slogans is moving Bruton forward and that's what we work on the Chamber of Commerce does a fantastic job now. Uh, it's, it's just almost everywhere we look we're trying to work on making Bruton a better place to live.